Today, I'm going to show you how to create three winter potion ingredients, pine needles, mistletoe berries, and mint. The things you'll need to create our winter potions are three different potion bottles, and you can choose whatever size or shape you'd like. I am using some artificial fillers for this, but if you wanted to use real, you definitely could. So I have some frosted mistletoe berries, but you could also use an unfrosted white berry or even red berry if you decide you want to go that route. I have some artificial pine needles here, but you could definitely use real pine and just let it dry. And then I have an artificial mint, but you could definitely use a real dried mint, or you could even just do a mint essential oil if you just wanted it to be the actual essential oil for it. I have some Epsom salts here that we are going to use for a snowy ice effect on one of our bottles. We will use Mod Podge, a brush, and some paper towel, some scissors. I have some optional cording over here in different colors. And then I have some items to make a faux frost effect on one of our bottles, and that will include a half a cup of boiling water, a third a cup of Epsom salts, and a teaspoon of dish soap. I'm going to be using some hot glue guns and some different hot glues, as well as our labels printed on sticker paper, and the link for these is in the description down below. Let's get started. To make our pine potion, we are going to take our artificial pine, but, but like I said, if you wanted to use dried real pine, you definitely could. Um, but we are going to trim this down so that it's a size that will fit in our bottle, which I think is gonna be right about here. So this will fit in there nicely. And then I'm going to probably put a little bit of this one in there too. And then I think I'm gonna use some of this piece as some adornment up here on the top of our bottle. So now we're gonna go ahead and just stuff our bottle with our pine. And you might need a cooking skewer or something long to help get everything into the bottle. And I actually think I like the way the one sprig in there looks. So I think we're just going to leave it at that. So now we're gonna go ahead and cork this up. And now we're gonna take some of this extra pine and we're gonna tie it into our cording here on the top. To adorn the top of this, we're gonna do just like we've done several of our other bottles. And we're gonna go ahead and start to wrap this and then we're going to add the pine piece once we get a couple wrappings on here. And now we have our pine trapped into our cording. And the only thing I might do is trim this up just a little bit so that it's not hanging out kind of weird like that. And then to finish this bottle off, we're just going to add our label. And just like I normally do, I went around the outside edge with a matching marker just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. Now with any of these bottles, because we're doing the frozen effect on the mistletoe bottle, you could definitely do that on any of these. I just decided to do just one bottle frozen and the other ones just be normal potion ingredient bottles that were just kind of winter themed. Um, but if you want to make them all feel wintry and snowy, by all means, you know, use the same technique that we use on mistletoe berries and you can frost up all of your bottles. And there you have it, pine needles. Now we're gonna make our ice solution that will give the bottle a faux frozen effect. And we've actually used this before with the ice potion, but we're gonna do it now with this one because it's been a while since we've used that one and it's such a cool effect. So like I said, you need a half a cup of the boiling water. You're gonna add in your third a cup of Epsom salts and we are going to mix that together. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of dish soap. It doesn't matter what kind of dish, dish soap or what color, it will end up still looking clear and frosty on your bottle. Okay, so now that we have this all mixed, I'm actually gonna use a paper towel and all we're gonna do is dab this on to the areas of the bottle that we would like to look icy or frosty. And I don't wanna cover the entire bottle, I just wanna give it a 
frozen in time kind of look because I feel like if it's a potion ingredient that they would want to be fresh, then they could potentially put some kind of um, freezing spell on it or something like that that would be able to allow it to look frozen and keep it fresh kind of like we would in the freezer and then when they need it they can just be defrosted so I kind of want to give the bottle a little bit of like a flash frozen look to it so again we're just going to kind of dab this on wherever we want the frost effect to go and if you end up putting it in an area that you don't like it's really easy to take off And now we'll let this dry and let the ice effect take shape. Now that our bottle has dried and the ice effect has taken place, I'm just going to kind of zoom in and show you guys the really great frosty, icy effect we get. And if you end up getting an area that you don't like, you can take some warm water to it and take that area off and redo it or you can just keep adding a little bit more of the Epsom solution to it and you'll get a little bit more of a frosty effect. Just know that when you do that you're not necessarily building up the layers you're just kind of changing how it looks. So it's not like it's going to continue to add layers to it. It'll just um, take away what you had before and change it up. So now that we have our little icy effect on the actual glass. We're going to go ahead and fill it with our berries and then we're going to add some more of like a snowy effect with some Mod Podge and extra Epsom salt. So for my berries I'm going to go ahead and use some that have this really great frozen frosty effect to them. I picked them up as part of like a Christmas clearance berries but if you would like your bottle to not be a frozen bottle like we're doing with pine needles and mint you could definitely do some unfrozen berries like these here where you're just picking up a white berry and you can pluck them off and get a similar look and still have it be the potion ingredient without it actually being frozen. But I thought this would be kind of fun to have a frozen effect on mine. So all I did was pull the berries right off of the stem and then we're going to just start to drop them in to our bottle. And you can make your bottle as full or empty as you would like. And I actually think that's good. I don't want it to be completely full. I want you to be able to kind of pick them up and swirl them around if you want to. So we'll go ahead and cap this up and then I'm gonna get my Mod Podge and Epsom salts and we'll start to adorn this with a little bit more of a snowy frosty effect. Okay, so I've laid a piece of paper down here to catch any excess um, Mod Podge, but we're going to just take a little bit of Mod Podge, or you could even use Elmer's School Glue. You just want something that's going to dry somewhat clear, and I'm using the matte finish so that if something doesn't um, get covered with the snow, it'll just kind of add to the frost effect that we have going on on the bottle. So I'm just going to paint a little bit on the cork and up here on the edge. And then I'm going to take some of the Epsom salts and we are just going to sprinkle it on here. And then we will dump the excess off. And I'm going to add a little bit more to the bottle. Okay, so I've added a little bit of extra Epsom salts to the top here, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap some cording and then we'll do a little bit more of the Epsom salts on top of the cording as well. Okay, so now that I have the cording on the top, we're going to add a little bit more of the Mod Podge and Epsom salts to make it look frozen over too. And now I'm going to add my label and we'll add a little bit of frost to that as well. And now we'll let that dry. And there we have our frozen mistletoe berries. And lastly, we have our mint bottle. So all we're going to do is take our artificial mint, and I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. And I've cut a little sprig that I think will fit inside my jar, and we're just going to put it in there. And again, if need be, you might use a cooking skewer to just kind of help 
position everything the way that you want it to be. And again, you could definitely do this with some real dried mint. It will um, not look the same. It'll kind of probably crinkle and break up a little bit as you put it in there. Um, or you could definitely put this label um, on some mint essential oils. And then that way it kind of adds a little something to your everyday items. And I think that looks good. So we're going to go ahead and cap that up. And we're going to add our label to the bottle. So for this, it's kind of deciding what you want to be behind your label. So that will depend on what side you decide to put the label on. And is that straight? I think so. Now that my cording is on here, we're gonna go ahead and add some glue drips. And I decided to go with a similar color green as the mint. And now we have mint. And once we have all three of our bottles completed, there you have it, our winter potions. Pine needles, mistletoe berries, and mint. All of these are different potion ingredients that do different things, some for healing, some for purification, some are the antidotes to different poisons, you name it, they all have their amazing qualities, and these will be a great addition to our potion prop collection we've been making along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.